what's going on guys so today I'm on my way to my friend's gun shop and he is going to be creating and building some things for the Jeep I think you guys are going to think it's pretty awesome I'm very excited for it uh, but first I'm hungry and we're going to stop at Chick-fil-A yo what's up hey man how you doing I'm good Andy just called me. Who? I'm recording right now. I'm, I'm doing a vlog right now, Andy, and you interrupted it. So I just got off the phone with Andy, obviously, and he called to tell me about my future horsepower needs and what we need to do to accomplish that. So it's going to be a fun winter. Oh, I got up open my door to put my window down. <sighs> Alrighty. Hmm, let's see, what do we want? Yeah, let me get the uh, number two with pepper jack cheese. Alright, the number two meal with pepper jack cheese. And what kind of beverage for your meal? Uh, I have a Dr. Pepper. Is that medium or large for you today, sir? Uh, let me have a medium. Can you also throw in uh, two Chick-fil-A sauce things? Certainly, so it's nice and lucky to be able to teach a place off the fries and Dr. Pepper, is that correct? That's right. So come to 716, it's a pleasure to serve you some window. Thank you. My pleasure. His pleasure. I love Chick-fil-A, they're so nice. Oh look, a Jeep in front of me. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, so anyways, the camera dropped. But what you guys missed was the guy who gave me my food. He was like, oh, you're a Walking Dead fan. And I was like, yeah, how could you tell? And he was like, oh, because he sold his bat, the Negan bat, bat. So yeah, those guys are nice. There's my Chick-fil-A. Woo! Well, that Chick-fil-A was quite delicious, as you can see. And we'll be pulling up to my friend's gun shop in just a few minutes. Alrighty, and we have arrived. I'm just gonna park right in front of this garage door here because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go be going inside with the Jeep. All right, let's go say hi. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys too. I painted these on today, the biohazard symbols on both doors. I think they look pretty cool. The doors don't look so out of place now. What's up, dude? How you doing? Good. Wes, there he is. How you doing, man? Good. Say hi to YouTube. Hey, YouTube, what's up? This is Wes. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm gonna pull the Jeep in the garage there. We're gonna get started. Alrighty, so now we've got the Jeep inside the shop. We're gonna take the top down. Alrighty guys, so now that we have the top off the Jeep, Wes is off camera, he's gonna show us around Black Ops Defense. All right guys, so this is the kind of stuff we do here at Black Ops Defense. We do a lot of HK gunsmithing. Uh, what you're looking at here are uh, MP5 builds that we've done. Uh, we start out with uh, just a Barry Siever, something similar to this, and uh, finish them up. You guys paint this too, don't you? Yep, we do, we refinish them. Uh, we build, do all the SIG welding, all, everything's done from scratch. We use a lot of original HK parts in these guns. Uh, this is a fake suppressor, which brings the gun out to 16 inches, so pretty much anybody can buy it. This one's custom painted. Obviously, this is a, a lot of custom work done here uh, with the custom painted parts and uh, the laser engraving on the lower to uh, match the factory type lower like this other one. And every gun gets your Pretty much your little engraving emblem there, right? <laughs> Not every gun, but uh, every this, gun? One, this one has it, yeah. That, is that an option? <laughs> yeah, it's basically get? an option, or if the customer uh, doesn't mind that, we'll do it. Uh, sometimes we'll do them on the internal parts, so they're there, people know who built the gun. So what exactly do you do here? I talk to all the customers, uh, I install the emails, um, I'll, I'll deal with uh, the money, ordering, uh, ordering parts, um, I help out in the shop when I can. It's a lot, we're really busy right now, so. Yeah, I know, you got, these are apparently all of your orders, right? These are all That's customer right guns. There. Yeah, we've got a lot, a lot of stuff in progress around the shop and uh, uh, lots going on. 
That's good. That's good. And then we got Tony over here. Tony is you're like the builder, right? You yep. do all the welding and the painting. So yeah, pretty much all the back work and anything that needs any kind of whatever done to it to get it together. I'm the one to do it to. So two guys, the two masterminds much the two of us, at yeah. Black Ops Defense. Okay, uh, we, occasionally we have uh, uh, some other guys that help us out as well on uh, some some of the stuff around the shop. But uh, we are the we're the owners and uh, we're the we're the main guys at Black Ops Defense. Cool. So what these guys are going to be doing for me today is they're going to be pretty much beefing up that Jeep with different kinds of weapons, and this here is going to be one of them. Wes, do you want to tell them what we're doing with this? All right, so this is what we're going to put on the Jeep. This is going to be your primary zombie killing weapon right here. This is, uh, this is a Russian RPD uh, converted to semi-automatic. Uh, so this is actually a rifle that anybody can buy and own as well. Um, it's custom built by us, Black Ops Defense. Uh, the paint job is custom done by us. Um, there's a ton of customization on this gun. This ammo box, the ammo box is actually mounted on there. Custom, uh, custom mounted uh, to fit the bottom of the, bottom of the RPD. So not only do they make stuff that is looks cool, but it's also practical and functional, right? Yeah, you can of use course. this. Yeah, a lot of the stuff, a lot of the stuff is meant to make the gun work better, function better, uh, whatever it is, last longer. Um, it all depends. All right, guys, this is another thing we do. Uh, actually, this is a, a service that probably only two or three other gunsmiths in the whole country actually even provide. Um, what we do is uh, we convert the HK USC to the UMP. These guns come out similar to this one. We've got a couple of them going here. These are all customers, customers' projects. It's a lot of work, a lot of sanding, a lot of finishing. We have uh, special jigs and everything that holds everything in place uh, to make sure these come out perfect. We weld these on, um, it, it, the rear section's on, but it's unbelievably strong. Like, we've, do we've done lots of testing, and you can, you can really torque on these things, and they're, they're, just, they're just not going apart. It's a, not a service that a lot of other gunsmiths provide, um, but uh, we do, and they are, they are awesome guns when they're finished. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. So this, you cannot really own, you can't buy the gun this way. You guys build no, it that yeah, this way. Is the only so way. No, this is the only way to own this style of gun. Um, uh, to own the USC converted to a UMP or to own a UMP is essentially the USC uh, conversion. So hit up Black Ops Defense if you guys want your USC converted to a UMP like this. All right, so the first step for mounting that gun onto this Jeep is where Tony is going to basically get get the mount going here. He's going to do some welding. Tell us what you're going to do. I got some pieces that I made up previously and pretty much going to weld them together and we're going to do a test fit and see if it fits on here. And, and we're going to we're going to mount it basically right in the center of this roll cage on the top there. So the gun will be facing forward and you'll be able to stand back here in the bed and shoot the gun right off the top of the Jeep. It's gonna be sweet. The mount should articulate and you should be able to rotate the gun also. All right, let's do it. All right, so while Tony is working on that mount for that gun over there, um, some of you guys might not know that I am into guns. Uh, I have a lot of guns at home. But this one I brought with me is my Mossberg 500 that I bought, used, and added some things to it. It's an 18 inch barrel. I put this aftermarket pistol grip on it because the stock one is like this really hard plastic that just kills the palm of your hand if you keep shooting it after a while. Then I have this shotgun shell holder that I put on the side. And I also added a heat shield with uh, front and rear sights, which, I mean, they're not really usable, but I really wanted it for just the heat shield. You can get a lot of stuff for these Mossberg 500s. They're like completely customizable. There's so much stuff you can do to them. So this is just the beginning. I was talking to these guys about doing some cool stuff to it, so stay tuned for that. So another one of my toys that I got is this Smith & Wesson 500. And this is currently, I believe, the most powerful handgun you can buy, like production handgun in the entire world. It's only a five shot too because the freaking rounds are so big. But yes, 8.38 inch barrel. It looks absolutely ridiculous. Next to my head, that's how big this gun is. But we're actually going to be mounting this in the Jeep as well. And Tony is working on something back there as we speak. Okay, so we actually made a decision to put the Black Ops Defense logo. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, we're gonna put that right here 
Sorry, Harambe, but we're gonna have to take you off. Alrighty, so here is the mount, all painted and welded for the roll cage. And uh, right behind here is another mount that you're working on, I guess, Tony. Yep. That my pistol is gonna basically, the barrel is gonna sit right down in there. It's gonna be a holder for my pistol. And I guess we're gonna like, what, coat this yeah, or I something? Yeah, I got some uh, shrink wrap tube over there. I was gonna put it over the outside of it. That should uh, stop it from barring anything in there. So once this dries, we can test it out. So I actually touched up these wheels uh, I brought plastic dip with me, and there were some spots on here that weren't really covered completely. And like I said, I just touched it up a little bit, and it looks a lot better. The wheel's now completely covered. There's no spots showing. Looks good, looks good. And Tony is gonna use that plastic dip actually to coat some of the mounts that are gonna go on the roll cage. So it'll create, well, it won't scratch the roll cage, one, and it'll create a tighter, tighter grip. Alrighty, so it looks like these mounts for the bracket here and this gun holder here is pretty much dry. So we're going to attempt to mount the gun now on the roll cage. So first we're going to be mounting the pistol holder to the bottom of the Jeep. like my gear shifter. So when you're sitting here driving, you can just be like, ready. Alrighty, so now this looks like it's fitting pretty well. We're gonna modify a little bit so the rod itself doesn't wear out as much. But we just found out that this cup holder is pretty awesome because not only does it hold my gun in place, but it also holds a mag here and can hold a mag here. What about that, Wes? Cup holder slash gun holder. Pretty awesome. Slash beer holder to make a production run. <laughs> Black Ops Defense will now be selling cup holders that you can mount your gun and beers <laughs> to. Next step, we're gonna mount that gun right here. Well, Wes, uh, look at that. It's pretty good. <laughs> that it does. Well, it definitely looks badass, I think. I knew taking the rear seats out was a good idea. Alrighty, so the gun mount on the top of the Jeep works. And it's nice because I can leave that on there and just, just tilt it like a quarter turn and I can put my top back up and it won't even touch that. We're also gonna put a gun rack right on top of these wheel wells here for both sides of, of the Jeep. So you can mount like a rifle and then like a shotgun, like like small, it's basically gonna go like biggest to smallest, kind of how this is, tallest to smallest. They're gonna make that, um, they're, it's gonna take them a, a day or two to make that. So what we're gonna do is, we got everything accomplished today that we wanted to do. We got the top mount finished, we have the pistol mount finished on the floor of the Jeep. So basically, I'm gonna let these guys do their work and we're gonna reconvene here in a couple days. Alrighty, hey, we're back. And it's a different day, it's like, it's like a week later. And I just showed up and they finished building some more stuff for me, so we're gonna go check it out. So, luckily it's like a 70 degree day and very nice, so I've got the top off. But they've been working on these gun racks this past week and they look great. They go along with the um, the roll cage here, as you can see. We are going to go for a ride. We're gonna hook everything up, put the gun on the top, and um, we're gonna do a complete walk around of everything that's done to this Jeep. Alrighty guys, we just arrived. A lot of magic happening around here. We're just transporting places instantly. And the zombie killing Jeep is right to my left, the ultimate zombie killing Jeep. I'm gonna reveal it now and we're gonna do a little walk around. And here it is.
Alrighty guys, so I'm just gonna take you through a quick walkthrough of everything that's been done to this Jeep from start to finish. Obviously one of the first things that I added was the were these spikes here on the front of the, uh, the tow hitch and I put the chains on here, added some flesh and a zombie head here and a hand to complete the look. And all of this blood here is pretty much painted on. You guys might have seen that video before. And obviously I added my Guitar Mageddon Z01. I had the American flag put on there. And then over on the other side of the Jeep, we did the zombie kills with the tally marks and as well as the Black Ops Defense logo. Then I added these doors. They were soft doors. Now they're hard doors. Painted them, put the biohazard symbol on them. And I painted the interior as well. Threw these chains on as a handle. They're awesome, I love those. Then obviously we add more, more hand prints and, and some cool stuff on the back here. Just like little details and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Looks like zombies were trying to like grab onto my rear, the rear end and like hold on. So, and then we added this zombie hand here and hung it from a chain. This actually, when the top is up, it actually hangs inside. You guys have probably seen that video of me driving with the thing hanging by my head. Moving on to the interior of the first weapon is Lucille and you guys might know this is from The Walking Dead. I made my own bat with barbed wire and added a little blood on the end there. Next we have uh, one of my pistols. It's a Springfield XD40 and this here sits perfectly in the cup holder and I think that's pretty awesome how it fits there. That's a Pep Boy special right there. So if you want a gun holder, get this. Put it in your car. You can hold your gun and your beer. Black Ops Defense made me this pretty cool pistol holder and basically it's just a rod that's that's uh, bolted to the uh, the floor here and we wrapped it up with uh, electrical tape and kind of like rubber stuff underneath it just to protect the uh, the barrel of the gun but this is my Smith & Wesson 500 which is you might I think I showed you guys this earlier in the video and that just sits right on there just like that for the barrel and it just hangs there and it looks awesome and this is a uh, 1911 that Black Ops Defense made, and they do a lot of custom work like this too. So if you guys want stuff like this done to your guns, definitely hit them up. And then we also have, just in case, we have a little grenade here ready in the cup holder. That's what those cup holders, they also hold grenades if you didn't know. Moving on to the back of the Jeep, the best part where all of the weapons are. So now I am standing in the bed of my Jeep where my rear seats used to be. I did remove those obviously. Um, because I wanted to have kind of like a bed to put stuff in so I don't have a truck or anything like that So I said screw the rear seat and took it out So now I have all this open space and this is pretty much where you're gonna stand when you shoot this gun and It looks pretty cool. What do you think? It's actually really functional too because it feels comfortable. You can stand right here back up against the uh, the rear gate here and it's a perfect view, you can see everything. So here, I'm gonna hand the camera to Wes and he's gonna show you what it looks like. So as you can see, it's easy to shoot. You can hold onto the gun like this or you can hold onto the roll cage so you don't fall all over the place. And the gun swivels. So it'll swivel left, right, up, down. I can shoot the glass out of this Jeep if I wanted to. Obviously I'm not gonna, but yeah, it's pretty cool. And then you just, to detach it, there's a little set screw in here. You just loosen that, pull the gun right out, and you can use it. You can take it on the ground and shoot stuff with it too. Then we also have these two gun racks that Black Ops Defense also made for me. And they fit right, if you can see, they fit right on the roll cage. And they look good. They look awesome. We're going we're gonna to rig this up a little more, a little more uh, permanently but we just wanted to get it in this video to show you guys what it would actually look like if it was on this Jeep. But I think it looks pretty badass. It holds three guns each, so you total six guns. And they're pretty easy access. Pull them right off the, right off the racks. We also have a little hatchet here, just chilling on the roll cage, just in case the zombie would come close. You can ax him in the head. And the other side, we have pretty much a machete, and we have that hooked up to the, where the seatbelt holder is, and then that way the passenger can just literally go right behind their back like this and yank that machete out and cut off some zombie heads. And last but not least, we have these black plastic dip wheels that I did a couple, a couple videos ago. You guys probably watched it. Um, 
and I think they look great. It really does complete the look of the entire Jeep. Some of you guys were saying how you didn't really like the orange doors, but I think now that I have the logo on it and now that I have the blood and the hands and stuff like that, I think it, I think it ties it in real nice. It would have been hard to make that door the same color as that Jeep because that Jeep is like a faded black. That would have been pretty hard. So that's why I decided to make it kind of like a contrasting color. So there it is guys, there's the completion of the zombie killer Jeep. A lot of you guys have seen it from the very first video when I went and actually picked up the Jeep and you've been watching every single build video, every single thing I've done to this Jeep and now it is complete. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the everything else that I'm gonna be doing to this Jeep. Like I said before, I'm going to be changing it up pretty much like every season. So I already have a winter theme in mind and I have a spring theme and I have a summer theme for next year. So. Keep watching videos. I'm gonna be changing it all the time. I, even though I really, really, really like this theme, I think it looks badass. And I'm really into guns. I'm really into the whole zombie thing. So it's just, it fits me perfectly. But unfortunately, this theme probably is not gonna go well like on Christmas Day or like Easter. So it'll probably be changed up. But like I said, stay tuned for those videos. I also want to thank Wes and I want to thank Tony, who's off camera right now, for doing everything gun related and pretty much weapon related to this Jeep. Black Ops Defense, go check those guys out. Check out their website. I'm gonna have all of their info in the description. If you want your gun built, if you want them to build something custom for you, they can do that. Um, they do a lot of different work. Their work is good. Wes actually built me a gun a while back. So check out Black Ops Defense. I'll have all the info in the description. So you guys know what to do, all of my social media. Go follow that, it'll be in the description as well. Send me stuff, P.O. Box. 4126 Harrisburg PA 17111. I will feature you on the garage wall. Anything you send me, I'll put it there. If you want to send me something for my Jeep, I'll put it on the Jeep. Send me something for my Camaro, I'll put it on the Camaro. I'll give you guys a shout out. Hit that subscribe button. Have a great day. Alrighty guys, so this is actually Tony's Jeep. Black Ops Defense Tony, this is his Jeep. It's a 1994 Jeep Grand Cherokee, and he has some stuff done to this. Uh, Tony, what did you what did you do to it? Looks like the wheels and tires and... Yeah, it's got a three and a half inch uh, Rubicon lift on it. American uh, racing wheels. Mm -hmm. Federal Cougar tires, they do really well. Uh, built the roof rack. Oh, you built scratch. that roof rack yep. from scratch, that's cool. Tow hook underneath. Oh, that's cool, yeah. You made the bracket that it mounts to. Yeah. Third brake, or uh, third uh, reverse light. Mm hmm Was it always this color? No, it used to be green. So you painted it? Yep, I painted it myself. Did the hook up here. You also added this, too? Yeah, it goes into a cold air intake. Molded that scoop myself. Oh, yeah. There's Jeeps everywhere. I love it.